Thomas used to grumble in the sheds at night. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. The other engines didn't take much notice, for Thomas was a little engine with a long tongue. But one night, Edward came into the shed. He was a kind little engine, and he felt sorry for Thomas. Thomas, I've got some trucks to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead, I can push coaches to the yard. Thomas was delighted. Thank you, Edward. That will be nice. So they asked their drivers the next day if they could change, and the driver said yes. Thomas ran off happily to find the trucks. Now trucks are very silly and noisy. They talk a lot, and they don't attend to what they are doing. They don't listen to their engine, and when he stops, they bump into each other screaming, Oh, 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 oh! Whatever is happening! I'm sorry to say they play tricks on an engine who is not used to them. Edward knew all about trucks, and he warned Thomas to be careful. But Thomas was too excited to listen. The shunter fastened the coupling, and the signal dropped. Thomas was ready. The guard blew his whistle. Thomas answered, and started off. But the trucks weren't ready. Oh, 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 wait, Thomas, wait. But Thomas wouldn't wait. Come on, come on. And the trucks grumbled slowly out of the siding onto the main line. Thomas was happy. Come along, come along. And the trucks grumbled. All right, don't fuss. All right, don't fuss. They clattered through stations and rumbled over bridges. Come along, come along and they rushed through the tunnel of which Henry had been shut up. Then came to the top of the hill where Gordon had stuck, and Thomas's driver said, Steady now, Thomas. Steady. And he shut off steam and began to put on the brakes. Thomas called out, We're stopping! We're stopping! And the trucks answered back, No, 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 no! And they bumped into each other, Go on! Go on! Go on! And before his driver could stop them, they pushed Thomas down the hill and were rattling and laughing behind him. Poor Thomas tried hard to stop them from making him go too fast. Stop pushing! Stop pushing! But the trucks wouldn't stop. They just giggled in their silly way. Thomas was glad when they got to the bottom. Then he saw in front the place where he had to stop. Oh dear, what shall I do? They rattled through the station and luckily the line was clear, and they swerved into the goods yard. Thomas put his brakes on tight, and he skidded across the rails. I must stop! I must stop! And he shut his eyes tight. When he opened them, he saw that he had stopped just in front of the buffers, and there watching him was the fat director. Chomish, what are you doing here? I brought Edward's trucks. Why did you come in so fast? I didn't mean to. I was pushed. Pushed? Haven't you bowled trucks before? No. Then you have lots to learn about trucks, little chumish. They are silly things and must be kept in their place. After pushing them about here for a few weeks, you'll know just as much about them as Edward. Then you will be a really useful engine.